the loop fans, we got quite the opportunity now. We're joined by Jim Shea from the, the president of Premier Rides. And we're here at the, the wonderful booth you guys have, like always. And uh, first off, I wanted to start off by talking a little bit about the, your newest creation, Far Overseas, and that's the Yamaha Racing Coaster. Yeah, the Yamaha Racing Coaster, we actually did in Indonesia, our first project in Indonesia. And it's actually the tallest, tallest coaster in Indonesia. And it's a shuttle loop concept. Very unique situation where they have a giant indoor mall and they built a huge indoor theme park. Imagine a elaborately themed, universal type theming wow. park, but indoors, completely indoors, with the one exception that on the indoors you go through a very themed Yamaha experience and then you get on to the Yamaha racing coaster and it actually shoots you out from the mall and then shoots you outside. That's cool. So it's very cool, and when you get outside, you have this amazing structure of the ride, which you can see for miles around. And it's got the big signage on the front of it that says Trans Studio, Bandung Mall, and that's the city it's in. It's Bandung, Indonesia, which is actually a couple of hours outside of Jakarta, which is a big statement for how the global economy is right now, where you've got an Indonesia a big media company, Trans Studio, that is building these amazing theme parks, mm -hmm. building world-class coaster attractions like Premier's New Ride. And they're they're taking Indonesia now to the point where they're going to have these fantastic parks to go visit. Is it uh, difficult working in uh, another country like that? You know, if you're a company that wants to do global business, you have to have a global attitude. and. First of all, the people of Indonesia are fantastic. They're great to work with. They're very creative. They work incredibly hard. We do a lot of work in Asia. We do work in Singapore. We obviously did Universal Studios Revenge of the Mummy for the new Singapore park. Work the people there are fantastic. They all work, work, work. Uh, let me tell you, people in Asia work very, very hard. So we, we're a hard-working company at Premier, so we like that environment. All right. Now, one thing that's striking about this coaster is the, the the train design, especially the front car, that's designed to look like a Yamaha motorcycle. Could you talk a little bit about that? That's right. And actually, when Trans Studio did the deal with Yamaha to partner with them, it was actually a little bit into the process of building the ride. So we had to work very quickly with Yamaha. We worked with their engineers, and we actually used some of our composite technology to come up with some very lightweight thematic elements that we were able to add to the vehicle. And by adding those uh, elements to the vehicle, it really took, took the experience to a higher level and made it really one that the Yamaha people liked. But it was a very, you know, it was a very quick effort. We used a lot of our, you know, computer elements to do modeling work on it, had to make some uh, sample pieces. Those had to be obviously approved through Yamaha and get all the paint done and everything. So it was a, it was a very quick process. Very cool. Now that's what you guys did this year. Let's talk a little bit about next year. And you got an awesome project going into Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. We do. As Six Flags Discovery Kingdom has really taken a huge step and putting in a major attraction, the Superman ride. It is going to be an absolutely beautiful ride. This is a ride that has virtually no moving parts on it. The only thing that moves on, on this ride is the wheels on the coaster trains. But we're taking, um, we're taking a linear synchronous motor system using magnetic braking and we're going to use the linear synchronous system to not only shoot you forwards we're going to also shoot you backwards hmm. so and then we're going to get you up to a speed of over 60 miles an hour and we're going to do a, a tremendous amount of twists with you we're going to do these vertical twists going up vertical twists going down we're going to do a horizontal twist with you at where you're 150 feet up in the air so it's, it's going to be very intense. And then we've got, after you do the last vertical twist coming down, we're going to drop you into a loop. So we're going to drop you into a loop and then and then shoot you back into the station. So it's going to be quite a ride. Yeah, if you haven't had the chance to go see the, the videos, the renderings of the ride, you've got to check it out because it is wild and something very different. Yeah, Six Flags uh, created with us, they created an amazing video that you can go to YouTube, you can see it on YouTube, and I recommend your fans to go there oh, and see, see what it's Most like. Most of them probably watched it eight yep. times already. <laughs> no, it's, it's a great video. It really gives you a sense of what the experience is. And it really says a lot that Six Flags Discovery Kingdom yep. and VAO is going to put this ride in next year. And so, you know, as, as everyone knows, Six Flags is really 
stepping up with a lot yeah, of new absolutely. attractions Next year's all a big the parks. Year for and we're working on some other things with them as well. So oh, uh -oh. There's, some, uh -oh. there's some really exciting things coming. Uh, nerd question for you. You're sure. the owner of a ride manufacturing company, one of the best out there. What kind of nerdy stuff do you have at your house? Do you have like a coaster car at your house that you sit in and watch movies or, or like a roller coaster prototype in your backyard? <laughs> you, know, you know, probably if I think from a, a geek factor, the things that I have, you know, I, I, have, um, I have pictures of myself with, um, I, I know the Professor Hawking, Professor Stephen mm -hmm. Hawking. Mm -hmm. So he and I did uh, zero G testing uh, for what? preparation for going on the Virgin, Virgin Galactic. Oh. You know, and going into space. So, I have a lot of photos of Stephen Hawking at my at my home. Whereas, you know, and I and I've had the fortunate opportunity to meet some very other interesting people that, you know, that you know Pamela Anderson and stuff. Where, oh. where you know, the some guys, the <laughs> some guys would have that picture, or Jenny McCarthy you know, would have the Jenny McCarthy picture on the wall. I have the picture of Stephen Hawking. So that right. kind of shows you that geek factor. I think. Very cool. All right, well, we want to thank you for coming on the show. Again, I live down here. I ride the Mummy all the time. One of my favorite rides down here, so I want to thank you guys for that. No, that's uh, Universal Studios here yep. in Orlando. They, uh, they really, I mean, they provide amazing attractions, obviously. Mm -hmm. but we're very proud of the Revenge of the Mummy. Love it. It's, it's my, one of my favorite rides down here. No. I'm on all the time. Right? Premier's favorite ride, too. <laughs> great, great ride. Thank you thank very you much, very Jim. Much. Appreciate right. it. You guys take care. All right. <laughs>